Hey everybody, we are here back at my channel with a different jewelry bag opening. This is a bag of watches that I won off of a local online auction and I went and picked them up today and I thought I'd film myself opening them up to see if we got anything fun. Now I paid um, $24 and some change, excuse me, for this little bag of watches. So we will see what we got. They looked interesting online. They looked dainty and like ladylike and stuff. Okay, so this one is a Timex. Very clean. A lot of times if you get these, the inside of these stretchy bands are filthy. Oh, it looks almost new. I mean, they've got the stickums back up on there. And it's gonna need a battery. It's fine, I've got batteries. Good. Little Timex. This is a gold tone one. Ooh, and it's a little dirty. It's very dirty, actually. Something bros. See here? And see, this one is a little bit more dirty in between the links. It's fairly easy to clean. I just take it off of the band. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to remove this one. Yeah, I'll be able to do that. But this one also, I think this might be an automatic. Yeah. And it is not ticking. This does change. Hmm. I like the tick, 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 tick when they work, but I'll have to bring it to my watch guy and see what's up. Oh, this is a little Mickey one. This is cute. This is a, oh, it's a little scratchy. Seiko Quartz Movement, needs a battery. Yep, the hand change. This is a leather band. And this is, I don't have any more information. It's a little bit roached, but not too bad. Here, ooh. Okay, this is another quartz movement. Express LA, Express Los Angeles. Needs a battery, it's gold tone with a mother of pearl face. I like the bracelet, um, the bracelet band on this, how it's um, curved, it's formed. It's pretty. Again, I'll clean that up. All right here. Okay, let's see. Is it Hellbros? Hellbros? Let me look in my loop. Yes, H E L B R O S. Hellbros. Hellbros. <laughs> and this is another stretchy band. Does need to be clean, but it's a gold tone. It is. 14 karat gold filled. Let's see if I can show you that. 14 karat gold filled, which is very nice. So if this one doesn't wind up either, then I can take it to my watch guy and have him fix it. This one is ticking, it's just not very loud. Oh yeah, that's tick, tick, ticking. Nice, totally works. Needs to be cleaned up. Now I'm gonna double check this one. And I still don't hear it clicking, but this should be another Hellbros. Hellbros, sorry guys, I can't even. <laughs> yeah, still no clicking even when I listen closely. All right, here, West Clock. It's missing the glass, it's missing the glass bezel. Aluminum, anti-magnetic, shock resistant. And this is a Swiss movement as well, so I don't know. Oh, and it's overwound. Yeah, overwound. Let's see if it's worth fixing. This one doesn't have a band. It's an Elgin. Elgin shock master. And the case here is cracked and it's dirty underneath. 
Ooh, it does the nice click clicking. I mean, where's my microphone? I wonder if you can hear that. Mm. I like that sound. <laughs> so that's cracked and doesn't have a band. I do have a lot that's going to be, um, oh no, a, a lot that's going to go to my parts and repair listing. This is a Belova. And this is too bad because Belova is a good ba brand. But it has a crack right across the screen, the screen, right across the glass. Oh. It's also overwound. Stainless steel back. Ooh, and it's something carat gold. Gonna have to look a little bit closer. 10 karat gold. RSP bevel. So the bevel part would be 10K. Oh, Lova. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta take all these to a watch guy. I haven't actually taken anything to a watch guy yet, but I know who I'm gonna take it to. This is a Vanity Fair quartz movement. It is missing some crystals here on the stainless watch band. These are always stainless. Yep, Vanity Fair, and it's just a quartz movement. I should clean up nice. This one as a... Ooh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's so pretty. But it's missing its glass again. And it is a... Westfield. It also doesn't have a an hour hand apparently. Unless this is just the hour hand and this is how it's supposed to be. Ooh, it whines. It whines a bit, but it does not doesn't tick. And it stopped winding, so I feel like that needs to be fixed too. And it doesn't say 10K or anything, at least not on the back. Oh, here we go. It is, it says right here. Let's see if I can read it while I'm showing you. One over 20 gold filled and that's 12K, I think. Yeah, 12K, gold filled. And this little bitty thing in here that I can't read says... I don't know what that says. Anyway, yeah, another one to take to the watch guy. Hmm. Got two more. Let do this one. This is an Anne Klein. I have, actually have an Anne Klein that turns out to have diamonds on it, which is amazing. But this is an Anne Klein. It's got a really pretty brushed silver face. I'm pretty sure this is a quartz movement. And Anne Klein, yep, stainless steel back. Yeah, needs cleaning and everything, but it's pretty. So I'll clean that up and sell it. Change the battery. And here's another Anne Klein, and this is a matte gold finish. Stainless steel back. This one says Swiss Parts Movement Thailand. It doesn't say quartz, but. Oh. No, it's not ticking. Huh. Nope, not ticking. Oh well. It might be a battery though. Hmm. Yeah, it's got the little thingy where I can pull it up and put a battery in. So that's what that is. Well, not bad guys. I got a couple of things that are gold filled and should be pretty good if I can get them repaired at the watch guy. 
at the watch shop. Ooh. And I, I really love the Swiss movements, the automatic movements and the tick, 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 tick. I've got one over here that I like to just kind of wear and hold up to my ear occasionally because it sounds so nice. Ooh, yeah. I really like how pretty this one is. I'll have to get quotes on fixing them. But that's kind of fun, right? Watches. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.